But yeah, hopefully, uh, if you're watching this video, hopefully already you, you know the results of the fight. Um, this is not a highlight video. This is this is a quick recap, though. Um, I apologize. It's not much highlights, but you get flagged for that. I'm sorry. But um, I did want to talk about the fight real quick. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia on his win over Luke Campbell. Beautiful body shot, uh, liver shot, left hook to the liver to put uh, Luke Campbell down for good. I think it was like the 10th round, something like that. But um, Ryan Garcia, stay away from Tank Davis. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, keep him away from Tank. Tank will kill that boy. At least as of right now, his footwork is insufficient. When, when he was trying to elude shots, he kept going backwards, straight backwards. And then to make it worse, his, his feet is so slow that that definitely was inadequ inadequate as um, trying to avoid shots. He did not have the wherewithal to step to the left or to the right. He kept going backwards when uh, when approached with, with certain combinations. And then to make it worse, he kept getting hit with the same combination over and over again. Luke Campbell would jab to the body and throw a hook to the body to, to follow it. Or he'll jab to the head and throw a hook to the head. Uh, a jab to the head, left hook to the head, and he kept getting hit, or it might be a, a, a variant of a left hook slash overhand to the head, and he kept getting hit with the same combination. Now, in my opinion, the only reason why Ryan Garcia walked out of that fight successfully was because Luke Campbell only threw a, a small amount of punches. He never really let his hands go, even when he had Ryan Garcia hurt. It was moments in the fight where he would, he would uh, double up on the jab, Ryan would step back, a little and he would follow up with a, a, a left hook then another left hook then another I mean like the punch was just there to keep going but you stopped Ryan was doing nothing to keep him from hitting him it's either I'm punching or I'm able to get hit that's a mistake that's a big problem they better get their boy footwork correct and get it correct corrected quickly because if he get in a fight with Teofimo Lopez or Tank Davis, he will get knocked out. And that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxing zone fight doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know if you actually saw the fight. Do you see Ryan Garcia being able to beat any title holder at 135? Tank Davis, Teofimo Lopez, or Devin Haney. As of right now, I mean, he has the power to sleep anybody. But if he can't, if he can't defend himself, I mean, far as his defense, if it's all offense, it will be a problem, especially against Tank and especially against Tiafimo Lopez. And that's pretty much all I got. This here, busting boxing zone fight, Doctor. I am out.